The 2017 Ironman World Championship featured a deep field of experienced professional men. Right from the start, Australian Kona rookie Josh Amberger put a sizable gap on the men's field in the swim at Kailua Bay. A huge pack forms behind him, which included the defending champion, Jan Frudino. Amberger made it out onto the barren lava field still out front. However, on the climb to Javi, hard-charging Lionel Sanders took over the lead. Sebastian Kinley, Timothy O'Donnell, and Cameron Wirth went with the Canadian. And by the turnaround, it had become a cyclist race. Wirth in his sixth Ironman race of 2017 was first off the bike. With a new course record to boot, 4-12-54. Sanders entered T2 just a minute behind the Australian, with Keenley and Frodino not too far behind. Wirth surrendered his lead early into the marathon as Sanders and Keenley began to put their run strength to use. Frodino quickly fell out of contention. Sanders eventually pulled away from Keenley, but Patrick Longo was doing what he did last year on the marathon and moved his way through the field. Sanders gave it everything he had, but it was not enough. And at mile 23, Patrick Longa overtook the Canadian. For Sanders, the focus changed to holding off David McNamee. Patrick Longa had his first ever title at the Ironman World Championship, as he set a course record, eight hours, one minute, 40 seconds. It took a record performance to beat Lionel Sanders as he crossed the finish line in second place. McNamee rounded out the top three. For the fourth consecutive year, it was a German on the top step. Patrick Longa won his first Kona title. Canadian Lionel Sanders in second, and Great Britain's David McNamee took third here at the 2017 Ironman World Championship.